My name is Tom McDowell. I'm the president of Concorso Italiano. We are about ready to uh, endeavor with the largest Italian car show in the world. This is our 33rd year. We're here in beautiful Seaside, California at Bayonet Black Horse Golf Course. Bayonet Black Horse is a golf course that was developed by the Army, for the Army. It's amazing how that works, and the guys were entertained here at Fort Ord many, many years ago. It's now uh, owned and operated by the city of Seaside. It's a beautiful 36-hole golf course, rolling hills, nice view of Monterey Bay, and they are gracious enough to allow us to put this car show on once a year. We come in a week early, we get set up, and a little over 24 hours is going to be what is a spectacular array of color all over this golf course. So this year, we're celebrating 50th anniversaries of the Lamborghini Aslero and the Lamborghini Espada. The Espada is one of my favorite Lamborghinis it, it's simply because it's a true four-door, four-seater sedan and also a sports car. They don't make them very often that can truly be considered a sports car. So we're excited to see that the array of Espadas that are going to be coming out here. We're also going to be celebrating the Ferrari 365 GTB. This is, most people will know it as the Daytona. Most people will consider this car to be one of the greatest sports cars ever designed and built. And anybody who drives this car will find it to be a most pleasurable drive. As you get to feel the road and you get every ounce of muscle out of that car. It's a special, very special experience. In addition to the 50th anniversaries, we've got a couple of concept cars. One of them is called ATS. I've only seen it in pictures. Exotic car, zero to 60 in a little under three seconds, so that can push you back in your seat. We're also going to be seeing a recreation of the Lancia Stratos. Now, it's not branded as the Lancia, but it is the Stratos. The original Stratos was considered one of the finest rally cars ever made. So we're excited to see what's coming from Italy on, on this very special concept car. Every year we put on this show, this is the 33rd year, and it's not something you put together in a week or so. We plan year round. We have one event and this is it. So the event is on Saturday and we start planning as soon as we return home the following Monday. We're planning for next year. It's a full-time effort though. We're talking with car owners, we're talking with certainly sponsors, we're talking with restorers, we're talking with just about anybody who has a passion for cars. Because one, those conversations are fun, but we do have to put the show together and there's so many moving parts here. You've got to have all the suppliers, the tents, the caterers, the electricians. There's so many things that go into it here. So that, that's a lot of fun for us. It's kind of fulfilling too. But it's a big crew, a lot of people, and they're streaming all over the place starting tomorrow. David Molesworth and myself, Jim Carpenter, own this car. Ferrari P4 recreation on a 67 Ferrari P4. I bought my first Ferrari in 1983. It was a, a, a right-hand drive 246 Dino, just like you see up on the hill. I brought it over to the United States, put it from right-hand drive to left-hand drive, restored the car, then through the 80s enjoyed the car, sold it towards the end of the 80s, and uh, then when uh, Enzo Ferrari passed away, original right-hand drive cars became very desirable. I contacted the guy I sold it to, bought the car back, and sent it back to the UK. And then it went back to right-hand drive again. <laughs> so, but Ferraris have always been, I've had probably close to 200 of them over the years. They're a marvelous piece of machinery. They're enjoyable to drive. They're enjoyable to just be seen and, and we competitively you know race the cars as well in SCCA and in IMSA GTU so they're great cars. This car came to us about two years ago actually in the UK and so we went over David and I and my son Michael went over to uh, see the car spend time with the car and then bring it uh, back here about now, about a year ago. So it's uh, done some mild restoration and such, and it's, uh, as you see today, it's a little bit that we, we still are doing some tuning engine-wise, 
but uh, it drove on the field. It'll drive back into the trailer, and then uh, when we get back, it'll be back on the track, and we'll enjoy it uh, traveling around. Specifications on this car is a 355 powered V8, 360 horsepower, 2200 pounds. It's a pretty roller skate on wheels. They were looking to be uh, successful in 1967. In 1967, the P4s won one, two, three in Daytona. And so it's an exciting time. It's an exciting aspect of the cars. And uh, the cars are just so fluid. The bulbous fenders, everything is just very elegant. And it's 1967 design. Been coming out here to Monterey for now, I think about 30 years almost. So it's always a great time to come, show cars, enjoy the cars, enjoy the people around, meeting everyone. It's just a great time. The Concorso is an event that you always want to come to. You always want to enjoy it. It's a highlight to the Monterey week. It has always been a joy. It is an event that you want to participate in. If you have a Ferrari, if you have a Maserati, if you have a Lamborghini, and you see the individuals, you see the enthusiasm that they have for their car and for the event itself, it's just a great compilation of enthusiasm and owners and enthusiasts of the cars. They all come together and enjoy the cars.